Hello all, happy Tuesday, welcome back to Geek Fang Shui, I'm your host and Game Master, Bob Sellers JR, shout out to our friends at Canada Bringer in Cassie Manorville, under pressure in Golden Valley, South by Southeast, and beautiful Pine Island, or venues of similar family, pet, kid, fun, friendly places where you can bring them or find them there, and if they're all there and you're not, well, it could be because you're practicing yoga for Sundays at Canada, good, we're not judging the drink before, during, and or after. Check out my books at SellersJR.com, my overall website at GeekFangShui.com. And of course, this channel, which we appreciate every like, subscribe, and say the bell. It's Super Tuesday, even though it's a holiday week, so I'm thinking we're going to have three quests. We'll see you here in a minute. Been having fun with WoW, World of Warcraft. I don't know what that means. I decided to go to uh, Hunters, um, Beastmasters, on both the Horde and the Lion side, just to work my way through it. The two races that were new to it. Significant changes were made later where they separated the starting zones for the regular races, but for the most part, rather than you added two races and a whole new continent, which by and far was probably my favorite, particularly Wintergrass, which is a PvP fight. Um, way back originally, when Classic was retailed, you, you couldn't have, have just different members or different factions on the same account on the same server. Later on, they changed that. And uh, eventually, they did. I transferred my horde over. But by that time, I was playing horde. And anyway, uh, Winter Grasp is a unique battleground where. They introduce flight as one of the few places you can't fly, um, particularly during the battle. I don't know if you can fly over it outside of battle. I don't remember. But um, at any rate, there's a big fort, and the winners of the last fight own the fort, and the losers have to go and take three factories and then create tanks, more or less, that go and attack said fort. Well, if you own the fort, your job is to stop doing that. Because if they manage within time to go open the doors and get in capture, they win. And uh, you get certain tokens whether you win or lose. And there were times where once I just did not show up, no matter what you tried to organize. And uh, so I'd be fighting in the battle. It was clear one side was going to lose. And I wanted points on my, you know, one side or the other for characters. So I switched characters to come join the battle. And uh, I was doing my part, but the uh, rest of the uh, action was not at those particular times on that particular server. Well, anyway, my daughter, my youngest, was watching me play. Both of us have seen me play. They both played for a while. And uh, back then, you could transfer characters uh, to another account. It's just block that I believe you can't do that anymore. <laughs> and I had a level 60, I think, Warlock, that I uh, transferred my daughter's account, my youngest. And the way our house is situated, the family computer's upstairs, and I'm downstairs. And one day I saw Wintergrass was up, so I decided to go do it. And I was on the horde, and she was on the Alliance, and it's going along, and was chasing this alliance warlock around and I didn't look at the name I didn't recognize it it was driving me batty because every time I tried something it just it's like it was one step ahead they got to the point where you see that kid in the video on YouTube slams the keyboard down and screams and walks away well I wasn't going to be that kid so I said you know so I exited out of the battleground and I said I'm gonna take a break walk around for a while do something else it's a computer game it shouldn't get under your skin like that well, I, I go upstairs and my daughter's laughing. I goes, Dad, didn't you see that I did a slash wave? And it was her. <laughs> she had been watching how I did winter grasp and took no, mental notes. So when she saw it was me coming after her, she just used myself against myself and won. <laughs> Could have been more proud. <laughs> okay. In a gaming situation, anyway. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, Yeah. 
Yeah, it was a, a fun time. The dynamics of the auction house are significantly different between Wrath of the Lich King Classic and Classic WoW simply because you can buy WoW tokens in Wrath of the Lich King. How a token works, you spend $20 real money and uh, whatever currency you have to reside in and you get a token that you can list in the auction house and they have the average prices of what they sell for in uh, like a, one case on the, on the uh, Horde server it was 8,000 gold so if you bought one so what that is it was an attempt by Blizzard to um, counter gold sellers because of what prices they were offering supposedly but it kind of it, it it made it so that like in my case i wanted to start a guild in classic but it cost 10 gold i don't i'll ever have that until much 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 later um, they don't have a methodology to do that with um, with a cheaper because you, know, you have to get 10 signatures anyway but uh, anyway idea of course i'm sure is to avoid having private guilds which may work in essence because i wanted the bank spot so i just countered that by having banking tools but um, i sold a silver bar for eight gold in that server which i've seen i used to buy bags i got portal dalaran is the capital of the new The new continent. Splitting it in. So then I got thinking, well, okay, so let's say for the sake of argument, I wanted to buy a token and split it between my two characters. Well, the only way that you supposedly can do that as an uh, heirloom is in front of it. I have not tested that theory but um, well, okay so let's go look and see because I knew heirlooms could be purchased two ways like either be tokens or you have to do battlegrounds and to get them I thought there was a gold version of one it turns out there is in later releases at least according to my research on the web but Raffle Lich King you had to do it by tokens only so that was out as far as doing that, but so I spent a goal and got a teleport Dalaran just to go find the fact that I couldn't buy heirlooms and send across. What heirlooms are, in essence, are like um, account bound gear that you buy here that levels with you, but in that case, it added XP bonuses to it. And uh, while I have heirlooms in retail, I can't send them to that because they changed how the heirlooms work. And so they're not compatible. So it doesn't matter because so you're Care Bear. So dying is, I, I proved that the elevator death is still available in Undercity <laughs> inadvertently, but still did. Found some traps when I was doing my what elf thing. That's kind of fun. I moved just enough.
Okay, so I sorry, started a, a lion or a horde hunter. And how do I get back? Because in in classic, in order to get from one faction, particularly the Torin, to the troll, you had to go through the old road. And I can remember how you do that. Well, well, it turns out there's a portal thingy you can take between Undercity and Silver. Um, I can't remember the name of the town of the Blood Elf town. Anyway. So you don't have to do the necessarily do the gold world that way. But you level fast enough that it's not really as big a concern as it is in hardcore. Because in hardcore you in my opinion, in my way I play my characters, you want to try to be two, if not three or more levels higher than the environment you're fighting in for your own survivability. And um, in Care Bear, you level so fast, and it, you can stay in your area and level all the way through it, and not necessarily have to worry about it as much. I mean, you still do, but if you get screwed up, you uh, you just go to the cemetery and. Get your corpse. I'll try a different route. So I, what I did is I went and I leveled up a little bit and did the quest in the, the orc area with my blood elf and then I time I was level ten before I got over there. So I wanted to go to Undercity to get a uh, bear. And, uh, My tank, and I've discovered that my dragon, fire dragon for the blood elf, was far more um, the tank I was looking for, so to speak. So I stuck with that rather than getting a bear. So then I got to thinking, well, I wonder what the alliance would get. And the reason for these two hunters is I'm going to be a beast master in both of them, and that means you can go and tame exotic beasts. Exotic beasts can be silver dragons, I believe. Um, or they can be beasts that can't be tamed normally. Don't think you can tame gold dragons. I could be wrong. Time will tell as I go along, but that was the fun part that I had getting it. There was pets that you had to wait to spawn, particularly up in Northrend, that were intriguing. It's the only reason I'm playing Raphael Witch King. I think we are done here, so I'm going to save. And uh, give a shout out to our friends at Chaotic Good Brewing here at Castle Manorville under pressure in Golden Valley in South by Southeast and beautiful Pine Island. Or venues of similar nature near you and yours. Pure, family, pet friendly entertainment with many options available, whether you bring them or find them there. You can do yoga on Sundays and chaotic good and not get judged if you drink before, during, and or after. Check out my books at sellersjr.com and my overall website, geekfengshui.com. Please like, subscribe, and set the bell. It does help this creator and the channel with the algorithm for YouTube. Have a good one. See you in the next video.